What is up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more Monster Trucks. Today we have the brand new 2021 Monster Jam Grave Digger Reckless Edition. This thing is so freaking sweet. Um, the Reckless Edition, what they do is um, Spin Master has made this. This is a new, like one of their new lines. Um, as you can see, this is the Grave Digger, but it's like made from different pieces of the different Grave Diggers. So it has like Grave, grave Digger the Legend Hood, a little bit of the back, um, a mismatch like the old Grave Digger door, the old Grave Digger side, and then it has mitch mit blah 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 mismatched tires as well. Um, all four tire or all four wheels are a different color. Um, I really thought this was super killer. Um, I'm excited to open it too. I'm looking forward to people's reactions, but this is so sick. So here is the back of the card. Um, it's not actually on the back of the card. I don't think it's a chase, but there it is right there, Reckless Trucks. I, I know it's going to be hot just because A, Grave Digger is usually the hottest truck there is um, in the Monster Jam line, but this is so awesome. So, boom, let's pop it open. I'm not waiting. Let's just do it. I found this at Walmart. It was, what, I think they're $3.99. Um, oh, dude, this is so sick. Look at that. Yes, and it's got Grandma Gravedigger door on it. Dude, that is sick. So look, you can see one tire is like neon yellow. The other one, this is like uh, the metallic brown. There's a gray and there's like classic Gravedigger green. So, so this has four different colored wheels on it. That is so cool. Um, I mean, I'm just blown away by the detail on this thing. So as you can see, if you're a Gravedigger fan or not a Gravedigger fan, you can see that this truck is like parted together with like there's the grandma grave digger. I believe this is the older patch of the bone. That's not the newest one. Um, a little bit older grave digger text text on there. Again, that's grave digger the legend hood. Uh, it looks like I mean just grave digger front end. Um, I think that looks like an older door design to me. I can't tell um, exactly, but then you can see grave digger the legend right there with the regular grave digger um, like skull on the side. This thing is so rad. I love it. I love how they did like the jalopy style where they parted it together like it's raised from the dead from all the other trucks. I really like this like bright yellow too. This thing is killer. So it has, um, Spin Master has really nice chassis. So the actual chassis like the suspension and motor is green. But if you actually look the, the axles are like a brown color. So this truck has a ton of color on it. Um, this can't be a cheap tampo because there are I mean, how many different reds on there? That appears to be the same red as the National Hot Rod Association red, but it's in, it really doesn't look like the same red as the Grave Digger. The yellow, I don't even think there's even yellow on the rest of the side. Maybe some of the stripes. Um, the blue, the gray, the brown, the red, the green, the black, the white, um, the yellow. There are so many colors on this truck. Let's see if I can bump it up to show you. Just a ton of detail. I love it how like they've even put um, almost like rust lines where like if it was like sheet metal would have gone back together and like rust around the edges. You can even see that up around the door like the door appears to be rusty um, and then it looks like it's missing paint and it's rusty around the edges here too. Um, same with the front under the lights here on the fenders on the side of the hood. Um, dude this thing is so sweet. Very cool. And of course, it's a monster truck, so it rolls really well. So, um, Spoon so they include this, like, almost like little ramp. It's just made of cardboard. So if you really wanted to, like, if you didn't have a ramp, you could use it and play, like, trucks with it. I believe this might be, is this a, oh, snap, look at that. Okay. So this comes with a grave digger, uh, like, wristband, almost like one of the lands I'm trying. I can't remember what they're actually called has like the Grave Digger logo that that looks like the front of the truck well not of this one because it's the wrong one but yeah Monster Jam so that's a, that's a nice little addition for kids remember these are kids toys um, and then they come with posters as well so let's see which poster this is looks like Megalodon yeah cool so it's a little Megalodon poster look at the fountains those look sus so, so it's a little odd, but I mean, that's a sweet picture. So let's look at the back. Um, then it shows which ones. 
So there's the Reckless truck right there. Um, the Earthshaker, so they had almost all of these. They had Aftershock, I don't I don't know if I saw Megalin on. They did actually have the Freebird. Um, I don't think they had that. I don't think they had that one either. I don't think that one, and they definitely didn't have the Blue Thunder ride truck, so. Cool, but um, I'll be looking for that one, the Thunder. I, ha I bought the Freebird, I think I did a video on this. Um, they had a limited edition for 4th of July and it was like all American flag, it was pretty cool. But, so you get a poster, the little like wristband, and a super cool truck for $3.99. So not a bad deal at all. So, let me know what you think of this one in the comments. If you bought this or if you're into monster trucks, you probably are since you're watching this video, but man, this thing is cool. Even if you're not a monster truck fan, you gotta appreciate the tampo and how much work went into um, putting four different colored wheels on this, a different color chassis, a brown like suspension, and then that tampo is just, the amount of tampos on this is insane, so cool. Well, that was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that one. I have a couple more monster trucks to open here soon, so. Sweet. Well, I'm going to definitely take some pictures of this and post it on Instagram. So uh, follow me on Instagram at 64wheels. I can subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.